Did either of you ever have any evidence of quid pro quo? <laughs> Mr. Morrison. No, ma'am. Ambassador um, Volker. I did not. Any evidence of bribery? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Any evidence of treason? No, ma'am. No evidence of treason. U.S. officials Tim Morrison and Kurt Volker blowing some holes in the Democrats' impeachment case as the second week of hearings uh, kicks off on the Hill. Are the left's witnesses exposing major flaws in the investigation? Here to react is former DOJ official Hans von Spakovsky. Good to see you again this morning, sir. Look, as you know, both sides are going to see what they want. Both sides are going to somehow see a win. You know, the president obviously calling this a win, as are many Republicans. I read an article this morning that says, and this is the subject line, Tuesday was a disaster for Republicans. Republicans. Do you agree? I, I don't know how anyone could, could come up with that. Look, we've now had, what, seven witnesses, and none of them have provided any substantive information or evidence to support the claims being made by the Democrats. And yesterday actually was a disaster for Adam Schiff and the Democrats, because we had witnesses saying that they saw no quid pro quo, they saw no bribery, no extortion. How in the world could that be a disaster for Republicans? Let's listen to uh, one moment very late in this long day that we had day. yesterday from Elise Stefanik from uh, northern New York or upstate New York. Let's listen. The chairman of this committee asked you, quote, when they became aware that military assistance was being withheld, you answered, Ambassador Volker, quote, to my knowledge, the news about a hold on security assistance did not get into Ukrainian government circles until the end of August. Is that your testimony? Yes, it is. All right, so he says, that's my testimony. So this is interesting because it, 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 on the one side, shows that Ukraine didn't know for a very long time right. when Democrats thought that they knew that there was a quid pro quo, that they didn't know until late August. But on the other side of that, um, you've got Sondland, who now says that it was September 1st, in his amended uh, uh, talking points, that's when he told that there was this quid pro quo, and he might say that today. Well, he may say that, but... <laughs> Really, I don't see that this is that relevant to the idea of impeachment. Look, we put conditions all the time on foreign aid. We've done it for a very long time. The president is the chief diplomat of the United States, not Congress, not Adam Schiff. And what seems to be going on here is Congress being critical of how the president uh, handled foreign relations with Ukraine. Uh, that is not an impeachable offense. That is not serious misconduct by a president. And that's what you have to have if you want to justify impeachment. I, I, I think what these witnesses have done is made the claims being pushed by Democrats. I mean, they're, the, the claims are just evaporating and going up in smoke. And so far, seven witnesses, no evidence of any serious misconduct by the president, particularly because we actually have given much better aid to the Ukrainians in the last three years than the Obama administration did, actually giving them the aid they've asked for to help resist uh, the, the Russian incursions and the Russian support of rebels within their country. Hans, what do you, we had a, a former DOJ official on the 4 a.m. hour with Heather, and she said something interesting that caught my eye. She said, there's a lot of interpretation of the actual call going on instead of people looking at fact. So, you know, yes. it, it's hard, I think, for the public to get a grasp of what's reality here. So with that being said, what's your message today as we prepare to listen to what Gordon Sondland has to say? Uh, people should be looking for exactly that actual facts, uh, actual evidence, as opposed to opinions about what happened or might have happened or should have happened, and opinions about uh, how we perhaps should have dealt differently with the Ukraine. Opinions don't make a case. Hans, and I what, Hans what if Gordon Sondland says today that, yeah, yeah the, the president and I, we, we, we needed them to uh, you know, reveal an investigation into Biden, Burisma in 2016 for them to get that $400 million. I mean, I think that the Democrats would say that makes their case. No, well, but I don't think it does because there was nothing wrong with doing that, even if it's true. It is a legitimate inquiry for the U.S. government to want to know about corruption mm. in a country like Ukraine that is getting aid. In particular, uh, did a former vice president of the United States abuse the powers of his office to protect his son? Why in the world would anyone think that that's not a legitimate inquiry? Well, of course it is.
Okay. We'll see you today. Yeah, we will. Hans, thank All you right. as always. Have a good day. Sure, thanks for having me.